There are many small neighborhoods in Tokyo that were not covered in my travel guide videos. I'd like to introduce some of them little by little, starting with the neighborhoods along the Toei Oedo Line subway. While I still recommend major tourist spots for the first time visitors to Tokyo, but Tokyo is a busy city. These areas are good for taking a short break from the crowded tourist areas. The Oedo Line subway opened fully in year 2000, has a route that makes a shape like a number 6 from the northwest suburb to the east downtown area of Tokyo, and the loop section merged under the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. Let's start from Toshimaen Station, which used to have an amusement park that closed during the pandemic. And they're making the Harry Potter's World Tour Tokyo. In June 2023, they're opening Warner Brothers Studio Tours Tokyo, the making of Harry Potter. They have one in London already, and the other one is opening in Tokyo this year. This is not a big theme park like Universal Studios, and it's more like the indoor museum with shops and restaurants. It's 6,300 yen for adults. The ticket will be on sale soon. Next is Ochiha Minami Nagasaki Station, which is probably the station that foreign travelers are least likely to visit. However, there are interesting spots for train fans. Kato Hobby Center, which specializes in the model trains and related products. You can purchase different models and see diorama of trains. It was fun just looking at the models of trains from all over the world. This is a starter set, coming with a Raven controller. So that was a really good place to visit because it's very easy going, you can take pictures and you can learn, you can bring your own train and learn it. And you can also purchase as much as you want. Minami Nagasaki is also a neighborhood where many Japanese manga artists were born. And there is a Tokiwaso Manga Museum and other facilities dedicated to the star artists such as Tezuka Osamu, who became famous with Astro Boy. The town is a quiet residential area of the Tokyo, and it's nice to walk around. Kokuritsu Kyogijo Station is located right in front of the National Stadium and it's in an area called Jingu Gai. Right in front of the station, there's the Mitsui Garden Hotels, Jingu Premium, and National Stadium. This area has lots of greens and it's nice to walk around on sunny days. Between here and Aoyama Ichome Station, there is a street with ginkgo trees especially popular during autumn season. The station is right in front of the JR Sendagaya station and on the other side of the track there is a Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden. I recommend entering the garden from the Sendagaya gate if the Shinjuku gate is busy during the peak season. Next is Roppongi, the deepest station of the Oedo line located on the basement 7th floor. Roppongi used to have lots of discos and nightclubs, and it still attracts many people for its night scenes. Right above the station of the Oedo Line is a building complex called Tokyo Midtown. It's a small shopping mall with Ritz Carlton Tokyo Hotel on the top. It also has a Fujifilm Square where you can see the history of Fujifilm and cameras. Right next to it is the Hinokicho Park, which you can see seasonal events, skate rinks in winter cherry blossom in spring, and beer garden in summer. Near the Roppongi station of Oedo Line, there are also National Arts Center Tokyo, and Nogi Shrine, and Nakasaka Hikawa Shrine that you can also drop by. Let's quickly drop by Shiodome, right next to Ginza. Now we came close to the east side of Tokyo. Let's go up to one of the buildings and see where we are. 
if you go up to the restaurant floor of the Karetta Shiodome, you can see the view of Tokyo Bay. Tsukishima is a town in the east side of Tokyo, famous for its soul food, Monjayaki. There are many stores selling Monjayaki on the street. If it's your first time, I recommend choosing a store that cooks for you, as it's not easy to cook by yourself. I enter the store called Tamatoya, where I order the mentai mochi and squid ink monja. So I just finished eating at this Takotoya for Monjayaki and that's very nice store. They are very helpful and they support you to cook. So, so I recommend this restaurant called Takotoya. I found a small bakery and it seems everyone is buying a melon bread. So I tried. I got the melon bread from that store. This is melon bread. It doesn't have melon in it, but it looks like melon, so it's called melon. It's mm. Mm. It's good actually. It was really good, so I tried the another bread. Good, but go for melon bread if you are here. Kiyosumi Shirakawa is a small neighborhood in Tokyo. While it's not a popular tourist spot, there are some great places to visit, such as the Kiyosumi Garden, where you can sit by the pond and immerse yourself in the Japanese garden. During the summer, the iris flower is especially beautiful, and you can also enjoy different rocks collected from all over Japan. This area is surrounded by the canals that extended from Sumida River, which were once used as an important route to transport salt from the east side of the shore of Tokyo Bay. For a glimpse of old Tokyo, make sure to visit the Fukagawa Edo Museum. It's a small museum that shows you how people used to live in this area during 19th century. While Edo Tokyo Museum is currently closed for renovation, the Fukagawa Edo Museum is a great place to experience the history of Tokyo. One thing you cannot miss while in Kiyosumi Shirakawa is trying the local dish called Fukagawa Bowl, which is a bowl of the rice topped with lots of crumbs. And another icon of the area is the Museum of Contemporary Art Tokyo in Kiba Park. The underground of this park is actually the garage of the Toei Oedo Line subway. The opening of this modern museum accelerated the gathering of the coffee shops in this area that used to be a downtown with lots of small temples and small warehouses. Another town recently started to get spotlight with unique stores and coffee shops is Kuramae, right south of Asakusa. Now Oedo Line is back to the west of the Sumida River. So among many hotels and condos, there are lots of cute shops. Finally, Kagurazaka. From Oedo Line, you can use either Idabashi or Ushigome Kagurazaka station. During the Edo period, Kagurazaka was an entertainment district with many theaters and tea houses where geisha performed. Today, there are many restaurants and shops around the major streets and some side streets, and you can still see a subtle hint of the old town in the back street. Today, I introduced seven stations and its neighborhoods, among 38 stations of Oedo Line. I hope you found your favorite neighborhoods. Have a great trip to Tokyo. Have a great week until the next video.